Well, today marks just two month, more months left in hurricane season, and luckily some of the activity that we've been tracking, it doesn't seem like it'll be a threat, but we are still, of course, always keeping an eye on the Gulf of Mexico. Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin has a closer look. I think that we just want these last two months to just go smoothly for us. We do, and you know, rule of thumb is once we get into the middle to end of October, the real threat for us in terms of evacuation type storms is gone. So we've got another couple of weeks to go, and not that this would be any Thing like that. In fact, what is really telling about the uncertainty of the models yesterday, if you remember, there was kind of an X marked from the Hurricane Center, meaning this is the area of thunderstorms we're going to be watching that were down to the north of Panama. So uh, kind of just to the east of uh, Nicaragua, that X is no longer there. So there isn't a little area of thunderstorms that we're watching down there. What the models that have started to shift to is maybe something trying to develop over the Bay of Campeche in the coming days. So you kind of watch both of those areas because model ensembles are showing little waves coming off of both of those areas. The big question is going to be which one of those, if either, actually develops. And right now the models are still indicating more of a broad area of low pressure. So nothing really well organized and basically just a big rainmaker as we head into this weekend and early next week. Thankfully, though, we've got a couple of factors that are working in our favor. We'll talk more about those in a few minutes. All right, Chris, thank you.